Hi there, Jag here from Modern Work Consulting and Training. So we've been talking about Microsoft Planner and in this video I just want to give you some, you know, my point of view on how you could actually use Microsoft Planner effectively as a your Kanban board. If you don't know what a Kanban board is, Kanban board is something which is, uh, it's got its or origins in, in Japan. Uh, I think it's in, around production line on how you actually create tasks and, and take them through the production line and come get the tasks done. It's a simple way of classifying your tasks as, you know, your backlog, your to-do items, then you create your, uh, you know, in pro items that you're working on, like, you know, doing, and then you create a bucket for done, and then you put it through. So that's a traditional Kanban. Yeah, there's more to it. Uh, I would highly encourage you to check out. Uh, I'll post some probably links to on what a Kanban board is. Uh, the, the purpose of this video is not to explain what a Kanban board is, but more ex to give you some insights into how effectively you can use uh, Microsoft Planner uh, as your Kanban uh, board or, or tool. You know, these days when I go to client organizations, I see people sticking uh, to do notes uh, on the walls, you know, they separate the walls into different uh, buckets and they start sticking in. And it's an effective way, you know, it gives you a visual uh, visual clue on, um, you know, where you're sitting uh, with your complete project tasks and so on. It's not just for software development, you can use it for anything else, all right? So anyway, how can you use it better? Uh, how can you use Microsoft Planner as a better uh, Kanban board? One mistake that I, I do, people, uh, I, I see a lot of people do is when they actually try to create a Kanban board in Microsoft Planner, what they do is they create uh, buckets, let's say they call them to do, uh, doing and done, and then that's all they have, you know, then they start putting content in there, uh, tasks and the cards, tasks inside them. It can work, but it's not really an effective way of doing it. The reason is use your board as a uh, the you know the complete planner board as your product backlog you know create buckets depending on your scenario your workflow scenario it could be your business you know in this example that I'm showing here you know it's this is for a production line um, video product you know video production okay so instead of actually doing uh, actually having something like uh, this where you have like you know to do doing and done have it have the buckets to suit with your business requirements okay uh, club them together and and you could track from one you know from one phase you know you could move tasks around as well if you if you if based on your project phases and so on uh, you get the idea but don't don't create uh, buckets called to do or a bucket uh, a bucket called doing and done that functionality is actually available you know out of the box through group by progress functionality when you use a group by progress functionality it's all it's it's already there for you it says uh, um, you know you know in progress complete and not started or something like that so it automatically gives you that so why do you want to recreate the same functionality in uh, using the buckets instead use the use the buckets uh, the the board the or the the default board for you know you know um, grouping your tasks based on your business purpose or business life cycle or whatnot. So that's that's how uh, that's tip number one in how you could actually effectively use Microsoft Planner to get as, as a proper Kanban board. And the other thing is, do you see, <laughs> I see a lot of messy, uh, you know, walls with a lot of uh, post-it notes and I always think what happens if they lose one of one, you know, a few, few post-it notes, what if post-it note flies away? Right, so if your Kanban board uh, is actually looking like this, I would strongly encourage you to um, make a backup of your uh, Kanban board or your your physical Kanban board into your Microsoft Planner. Yes, working in a in a physical environment with walls and putting notes is really good because I do use that uh, in, in in my projects. I I preach that for the customers. But I also tell them to take a backup of that and, and create a digital version of that. And that gives you, uh, you know, additional functionality around uh, reporting and other stuff as well, which the physical thing doesn't give you. So there you have it. Those are the two tips that I want to share in how you could actually use Microsoft Planner as an effective uh, Kanban board. Thanks for watching. This is Jack Kakarlapuri from Modern Work Consulting and Training. If you need any Office 365 help, uh, please reach out to me on LinkedIn and uh, let's and we can chat about it. Thanks, and I'll see you back in the next video.